Welcome back again to the HM vlog. One week before the the New Year's. Don't fear failure. As long as it's not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Stronger. touch about a, a certain topic uh, that is very uh, important to me um, something that I've learned as I started businesses there's a lot of consultancy out there to help um, enterprise startups especially which great great program I'll put some of the links of uh, some I use some that I know that are good uh, and uh, what value do they bring? Because I think it's, it's, it's very important for, for startups or for startups that are growing, depending on what you need or what the, the challenges are, to bring some uh, outside you know, mind to uh, give you some feedback. So uh, some of the area we, we, we use uh, consultant for, I remember early on was uh, software. So it was a uh, consultancy course, well, it's still around, but called growth movement. I really like them. They have a very uh, a good model. Um, the consultants are free. Uh, they usually have a lot of experience. And um, the first time we used them was uh, for software development. That was early, early on. It was about four years ago, if I remember correctly. You apply, you go to some due diligence and uh, then they select you a consultant and they help you out free of charge. The second time we use is to structure our group level. Uh, also great experience from somebody who had a lot of experience from London. I remember that was about two years ago. Um, and uh, we, use, um, we use also university, you know, students that do MBA. A lot of MBA university classes um, offer program like you know real life experience or real business experience in different field and this particular university was for social impact and uh, we engaged them uh when it come when it came to uh if i remember correctly we're trying to refine our uh franchise model for our expansion plan yeah i remember that it was very interesting because um we're trying to find you know what are the risks <clears throat> that can uh, better mitigate on, on when we start expanding with different partners so we can structure a better um, contract. And it was very interesting. Uh, also, you know, so all, all those programs have benefits, but uh, some of the programs um, also um, have, I won't say risk, but, uh, you know, there's they, 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 some challenges uh, uh, behind the, some of those programs. Uh, and the other one I want to use, the last one is PUM, PUM, P-U-M, that I'll put all those links uh, uh, below. Very, very interesting uh, uh, program also. We, we, we try to use them, we can get in, but, but I met some of the representative, also expert uh, from Europe that come in in different sector, agricultural and all that. I did meet one of their representatives that have done a lot of franchising. So they give you expert people that actually did the work um, on the ground and they, they volunteer to, to come in and, and, and share their expertise for a period of time. That one is not fully free. You have to provide some type of uh, not necessarily compensation, but a place where they can stay, et cetera, et cetera. But it's still very, very low cost. And those programs are very needed, uh, if I could say like that. Um, startups need those programs. Startups really need um, expertise um, and slash, I would even say mentors, you know, that can guide them much better. Because when you start a, a business, especially if you've never done that business before, it, it can be really daunting. You know, it can be really scary because you're really walking um, and you're doing stuff that you've never done before. So, you, you know, it can be scary. And it opens the door to a lot of mistakes, you know, which is 
good and bad at the same time because it can get to a point where you quit. So having someone there to, to guide you a little bit is uh, it's always needed. But what I found out, you know, uh, going through those programs is uh, they're all international program. They're funded by international funds. And the consultants are all international. Uh, and I even raised that issue with some of them. Because what I've learned is most of them, as smart as they are, uh, knowledgeable they are, they're not familiar with the African ecosystem. They just don't know the African ecosystem. So the advice they give you don't necessarily work on the continent, you know? And that's what I learned and I've seen it, you know, again and again and again. And, and it opened my eyes. I, I, I started realizing, well, why, why is there no, you know, African consultant working for those programs? Are they really looking for African consultants? I, or are they just, you know, focusing on international um, uh, consultants? Uh, is the fund requirement to use inter inter international people uh, or foreigners, uh, as they call it? So it, it, it dug me because you, you, you go to this process, you're very excited, you expect to learn a lot, and, and you do learn something, but you find out that when you're applying, if you don't know better, you're applying tools and, and strategies that are not gonna work on the continent. And, uh, and at least for me, because I only speak from experience and I only speak for me, or, you know, as my experience for ARED, one of the biggest challenge we have to find consultants is in two areas, building social impact in Africa and how to expand your company in other countries uh, as far as strategy because you cannot use the same strategy as in Europe, as in the States. It just doesn't work. As a matter of fact, I did business in the States, and I can tell you, I, I, you can operate 50 states with no problem, and you only register in one state. You cannot do that uh, in Africa, unless you have a very unique and, and smart strategy. So that's my take on this, uh, uh, guys. I'm still gonna share the links below. Um, but for, for those organizations, and, and please, number one, share more organizations that may use African uh, consultancy. Uh, that would be really, really awesome because I have yet to find any. And, uh, and if you know consultants that are good at scaling for startups or for young companies or small companies, huh? because there's a lot of consultants for big companies, a lot. Uh, market research, all, all the big companies I cater for. It's the startups and the SMEs that are not catered for in Africa. You know, there's a breaking down value chain on this aspect. Good morning. Uh, and that's the problem that we see a lot. So if you guys know uh, consultancy that use African that can help in scaling up in, in, in social impact, please share below or let me know.